Hello and welcome to the Khmer premiere of King of Glory. I'm Paul Bramson, writer, producer. My friends and gifted media partners in Sung and Yumi have asked me to share with you a bit of my own story and the movie's backstory. I'm the fourth of six kids born in Southern California to Danish immigrant parents who came to know the Lord the year before I was born. As passionate followers of Christ, dad and mom showed us what it looks like to love the Lord, his word and people the only things that last forever. As a young boy, I believed the gospel and I knew I wanted my life to count for eternity. A few years after Carol and I were married, the Lord directed us to move to Senegal, a majority Muslim nation in West Africa, where over a couple of decades, we built relationships, spread the word, raised our three children, and sought to explain the gospel in ways that would make sense to those who heard it. We soon discovered that in some ways, their worldview was a lot like the two travelers Jesus met and walked with on the Emmaus Road on the day of his resurrection. The idea of a crucified Messiah made no sense to them. And how did Jesus clear up their confusion? The Bible tells us, beginning at Moses, beginning in Genesis, Exodus, and so on, he explained to them from all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Jesus' chronological teaching method became ours too. Uh, our involvement in media ministry began in July of 1992, 30 years ago this very month, when God opened a door for us to sign a contract with Senegal's national radio station to produce and broadcast in the Wolof language a 100-program series of stories about the prophets according to the scriptures of the Bible. The series is called Yonu Njup, meaning the Way of Righteousness. Three decades later, this chronological series continues to be aired in Senegal and in scores of other languages around the globe. So where did this idea come from to create the King of Glory book and movie? Well, from God. But if I must name a time and place, I trace it back to October 2009, when Carol and I were visiting our youngest son in Egypt, where he was coaching swimming and ministering to street kids. While in the ancient city of Alexandria, I had uh, the opportunity to spend time with believers from several Arabic-speaking countries. In the room, I noticed a bookshelf with a couple of Arabic Bible story books for children. In flipping through them, I observed that the illustration looked rather Western, showing pale-skinned people and prophets and a blue-eyed Jesus. Worse, these books contained no illustrations that showed a lamb sacrificed on an altar which, as unpleasant and even offensive as that can be to see, including such pictures, is crucial to helping children and adults understand why Jesus is called the Lamb of God and what that means. And while these picture books presented many stories from the Old and New Testaments, they did not show how everything fits together to make one story about God's gift of forgiveness and righteousness. And so it was on that day that the Lord began to form in my heart a vision and a plan to produce a culturally appropriate illustrated book in many languages that would present the Old Testament foundations and framework of the gospel to make it clear to people worldwide. In the months that followed, God put together the team and talent and provided the wisdom and resources needed to produce first the King of Glory book and then later the movie. When I wrote the book, I had no thought of turning it into a movie. It was only after we sent the book to the printer that God put into my heart the idea that the book could be the word-for-word -word script for a movie. The English picture book was published in 2011, and the English movie was released in 2015. Since that time, over the past seven years, God has been putting into the hearts of his people around the globe to work together with us to translate the book and to record the movie in many languages. And so with that, it is now my privilege and joy to announce to you on this day, July 9th, 2022, that the King of Glory movie is now available in 50 languages. Would anyone like to guess which is language number 50? Yes, to the glory of God and because of the diligent work of each of you who partnered with Insung and Yumi and Rock International to make it happen, Khmer is that 50th language. So while the movie is uh, uh, divided into 15 shorter episodes, like the Bible itself, it has two main parts. Part one talks about God's plan foretold, the Old Testament. And in the New Testament, it's about God's plan fulfilled. 
Okay, it's time to fasten your seatbelts and get ready to connect the dots between these two parts of God's book as you take this 222-minute wild and wonder-filled ride through the world's all-time bestseller, the Holy Bible. Thank you.